hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button and become part of my youtube family so in today's vlog you guys i am doing a quick recap of my trip to the la fashion district if you are a boutique owner you own any kind of store need fabric designer you need to visit the la fashion district so our first stop was at this diner that was right outside of our hotel which is called all rubies really good food really good vibe um loved it to death i did not get a picture of our hotel but we did stay at the double tree in commerce which is about 10 minutes from the la fashion district this is a shopping plaza that was right outside of our hotel so yeah all right so on to the district this is our whip for the week um, we did have a rental car, so if you're planning to go to the district, do not use Uber. Go ahead and get you a rental car. You can go through your airline and get a significant discount. So this is California Skyline, so I decided to just get a view of it because your girl is from down south in the country. Our buildings are not that tall. Um, this is a panorama view of the main part of the district or at least what people think is the main part there were not a lot of stores that um it was a lot of stores there but not a lot of stores that i got merchandise from i know one of the stores in this main area was jc jc jq um, which is where a lot of people get their jeans from um, i know i think swanka posh is a really popular boutique and they have those super stretch jeans. I think they come from JCJQ, um, Zanana. A lot of people order from Zanana. They are in this area as well. So this is basically from the second floor. If I'm not mistaken, I'm standing right in front of Zanana. Okay, moving on to lunch. In and out it is. So yeah, we had in and out. It was very busy that day. Um, here, I am just browsing alone. Um, the first day, we just we said that we were only going to look, but I did make several purchases on the first day that we were there. This shirt in particular, I wanted it it's so bad, but it is pre-order, um, and this vendor in particular allowed me to purchase a three pack so i know a lot of times we shop on fashiongo.net and we're required to purchase six she allowed me to purchase only three so of course i did get her contact information a lot of times the merchandise is three dollars more on fashiongo than it is in the store so i'm basically just showing you guys what the view looks like if you have never been to california or even if you have been in california to the la district there is so many different vendors that you could never imagine like we were there sunday monday tuesday wednesday we flew back out on a thursday morning and we still did not get a chance to get through the entire market we were there from sun up to sundown. I think the market closed at five. This the is last store closed at five at the five. Um, um, so we are in just another blocks part. and blocks and alleys of different vendors. There were people that were selling fruit and tacos. Like California is a I honestly don't know what to call it, but here, um, this vendor was very nice. Um, this was my first time purchasing from them. She was helping me get my stuff in the suitcase. So, everyone up there seemed to be very nice. Um, willing to help. Um, letting us know, you know, hey, you can contact me on WhatsApp or... You know, there's so many different vendors that is not on Fashion Go. You wouldn't dare, you wouldn't think that it was that many vendors that was not on Fashion Go. Fashion Go charges them a fee and a commission. So a lot of vendors do not use Fashion Go. This is another block of vendors. <laughs> we were there when I say from sunup to sundown. 
Um, parking, I want to say parking is about $2 for so many different hours, for so many hours, I think maybe two hours or so. And it's, it's based on the time of day. So right here is kind of like a parking meter. It does take debit and credit cards. Um, so, or you can put your coins in there, but it does not take dollar bills. So, sorry I keep putting my hand in the way, but here we was at one of my favorite vendors, which is High Five. Um, your girl, um, Boss Mama Jackie. I saw Boss Mama Jackie in High Five. I could not believe it. I was actually sitting at the table waiting on my order, and I said... I wonder if Jackie is in the district today and lo and behold she walks in so yeah this is like an alley now back in Mississippi honey you stay out of alleys because they are dangerous but here in LA sus, um yeah you can go in alleys Don't let me walk out There is a place called Santee Alley or Street Vendors. In Santee Alley, I think that's where you get a lot of the counterfeit goods. We did pass by Santee Alley, but we didn't get out. I've heard, for the most part, that it's not always safe. Um, we didn't want to take any chances, but pretty much these are street vendors. We did pass by a couple of the floral vendors. We did find some pompous grass. It was five long stems for $10, which is a really good deal. Don't let me walk out. Don't let me walk out. 